Hey everybody and welcome back to the 360 Player YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna go over a drill that I saw that was used at the IDA Academy in Valencia. We recently had the privilege of going down there and seeing their operations and an amazing academy that they have down there. And they are current users of the 360 Player all-in-one sports platform. So we were seeing how they were using the platform in their operations. We recently posted a video on our channel about how they are using that. If you wanna check it out, we'll have the link down below in the description of this video as well. But we were checking out some of their training sessions and they were using this drill that I thought was very, very interesting that I thought I would share with you guys today. If you're looking for a good drill to work on either possession or defensive shape, this drill is absolutely awesome. So let's take a look at the setup. Basically to set up this drill, you have six offensive players with about three on each side. And then you have five defensive players, like a back four in the middle, and then a holding number six midfield type of player. To set up the drill, you have some goals in the middle of the drill right here, and then you also have some goals on the outside where if the defensive team wins the ball, they can go ahead and attack those goals. So basically the goal of this drill is for the offensive players to keep possession of the ball, connecting passes, and trying to even break down the defense by having through passes between the lines. And this is something that the defensive team is trying to prevent while at the same time still managing to put pressure on the offensive team. So there's a lot of different ways that you could actually use a setup like this to actually execute different variations of this drill. In this variation, the offensive team was trying to connect 10 passes in a row. And if they were able to connect 10 passes in a row, then they could go ahead and try to score on one of these goals right here. At the same time, the defensive team was trying to win the ball back. And as soon as they win the ball back, they could go ahead and attack one of the goals on the outside. You could leave the drill just like this and award one point for each goal that the offensive team scores and one point for each goal that the defensive team scores, or you could add some more wrinkles, some more ways to score points to pretty much mix up this drill and make it more interesting. For example, you could award one point to the offensive team if they are able to make a through pass through the defensive lines. And this is really gonna put an emphasis for the defense to keep blocking off those passing lanes and keeping the spaces nice and tight so that the offensive team cannot play the ball through. If you do play with this variation, it might be a good idea to award more points to the defensive team if they manage to score a goal. So maybe three points for scoring a goal if they win the ball and actually manage to score on the outside. Or you could perhaps, depending on the level of skill of your players, award a point every time the defensive team wins the ball or a point every time the offensive team connects a certain amount of passes. So as a coach, there's a lot of different ways you could adjust this drill with the same setup to award points in different ways, depending on what your goals are as a coach, what you want your team to work on, and of course, the skill level of your players. I thought this drill was really great because it really teaches the offensive team to be patient, working the ball, moving the ball around, passing and moving, and also looking for those openings to hit those passes through the defensive lines, which is a really, really applicable skill in game situations as well, being patient, waiting for that final pass, and then splitting the defense. And on the defensive side, this is a really, really great drill to work on cutting off the passing lanes, maintaining your defensive shape as a back four, and also working together with that midfielder that's trying to force the play one way or apply pressure, and then pounce on the ball in those situations where perhaps the offensive team takes a poor touch, picking and choosing using the moments where you can actually go in and try to win the ball back. This drill is really, really demanding for that defensive holding midfield player because they have to run back and forth depending on which side the ball is on to try to put pressure on both sides. So it's also sort of some elements of conditioning and fitness, especially for that midfield player. So with that guys, I hope you really liked this drill idea. If you want more drill ideas, be sure to check out other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a ton of drill inspiration on this channel as well as inside the 360 Player app. If you didn't know, 360 Player is the all-in-one sports platform with everything your team or club needs for, for management, administration, performance analysis, development, and even drills and methodology. There's hundreds of drills and sessions already pre-populated in the app if you're looking for inspiration. But even more than that, the value in 360 Player is that you can create your own drills and sessions, whether you're in an individual team or your entire club, and easily share it with other people within your organization. So professional academies like IDA or other users of the platform, they'll actually have their own methodology in the platform, and it makes it really, really 
easy to distribute to all of the teams, coaches, and players in your organization so that everybody's on the same page and everybody has access to high quality content within your organization. If you wanna find out more about the 360 Player platform, you can check out our website, 360player.com, or even book a demo with one of our sales representatives and they can show you more about the platform in depth. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video and we will see you in another video soon.